hello hello and welcome to your media youtube channel in today's video i'm going to talk to you about the ghana card how to correct or change a name on your ghana card in the middle of last year the national education authority announced for the information of the general public that update of personal information otherwise known as change or correction of personal records has commenced at its regional and district offices what this means is that Individuals with mistakes in their names or simply want to change their names on the Ghana card can visit any district or regional offices for such services. So, what document do you need to effect such changes? Is there any monetary value to this correction or changes? Do you need to re-register for a new Ghana card with the new names? What should you do exactly to change or correct your name on your Ghana card? For now, all that you need to do is to sit tight and watch this video all the way to the end. As of today, any update which changes the information printed on the face of the Ghana card will attract a fee of 35 cities. So update of name, date of birth, photograph, height, gender, or any other information that is available on the face of the card will attract a charge of 35 cities. Now just to be on the same page with you, this video is solely for the correction or change of name. For the correction of a date of birth, there will be a separate video for that. There are three things you need to provide when going for an update or change of name. The first thing you will need is the reason for the change. Are you changing the name on your Ghana card because you are married? Or because your parents said you change it? The reason should be genuine and it should be a tangible reason as well. The second thing you also need is documents supporting your reason. If you are changing your name because you've made a chief, that you need to provide a document affirming to that. The third item you will need also is a gazette notification. Now, for some errors, you need a gazette notification to make these changes legal. So what I'm going to do now is that I will present to you three instances where an applicant would like to update or correct or change their names on the Ghana card and the procedure for each of them. I'll present these scenarios and then tell you the information and the document that you need to get ready before going to the NIA office for the correction. This is Kwajo Georgina. She acquired her Ghana card in 2019 at Ningo Pram Pram with the name Kwajo Georgina. In 2022, Kwajo Georgina gained admission into a teacher training college and she is required to create a SNIT account and an e-switch card for her monthly allowance processing. Upon reaching the she was informed that the name on her Ghana card, which reads as Kwajo Georgina, doesn't match with the name on her admission letter, which reads as Kwajo Georgina Anomabu. Georgina then decided to change her name on her Ghana card to match her admission letter. So what should she do? Now, for Georgina to have her name on the Ghana card changed to match her admission letter, there are two instances. The first instance is that if Kwajo Georgina actually provided primary documents such as a birth certificate or passport bearing the names Kwajo Georgina to the NIA for registration and that same name appeared on the Ghana card, she will need to first of all apply for an affidavit from the High Court notifying the court that she wished to be known and called Kwajo Georgina Anomapo. The second thing is to gazette the said affidavit. And then the third thing is to present the Gazette her school certificate, her primary documents such as the birth set she used or the passport she used, add the secondary documents such as any other ID card that she's having, all these documents bearing Kwaju Georgina Anomabo to the NIA office for the correction. Now, the second instance is that if Kwaju Georgina actually provided primary documents such as birth certificate or passport bearing the names Kwajo Georgina Anomabo to the NIA for registration and she ended up getting Kwajo Georgina alone on her Ghana card. Then Kwajo Georgina doesn't need a gazette or affidavit. What she will do is to check her primary documents such as the birth certificate or the passport that she presented for the registration. If she is very certain that they contain the correct name, then she have to now check the registration forms issued to her by the NIA to confirm whether the officer actually wrote the correct name as was stated on the primary document. Then she will present the primary document, whether it's the birth certificate or the passport, the registration form and other secondary document to the NIA for the correction to be effected. 
So in the first instance, the mistake was originated from the primary document. Hence, Kwajo Georgina will need to provide a gazette since the mistake is not from NIA. In the second instance, the mistake occurred due to the negligence of NIA or its official. Hence, Kwajo Georgina doesn't have to provide a gazette notification for the correction. Jandu Joanna registered for her Ghana card in 2019 and later realized that the name written on her Ghana card is wrongly spelled. Instead of Jandu Joanna with DZ starting the surname, the Ghana card had Jandu Joanna with G1 starting the surname. She checked the primary document, that is the birth certificate she used for the registration, and the name is correctly spelled on it. She then checked the document issued to her by the NIA, that's the registration form, and realized the officer mistakenly wrote Jandu with GY, which was carried over onto the Ghana card. Joanna wants to correct the name on the Ghana card. Now, first of all, Joanna doesn't need an affidavit or gazette to correct her name. This is because the mistake is not from her primary document, but the mistake was from the negligence of an officer who didn't see that the name starts with DZ and not GY. So what Joanna will do now is visit the NIA office with the birth certificate that she used for the registration and then the form that was given to her. In addition to her Ghana card, visit the NIA office and they will take care of these corrections for her. Al-Hassan Salama obtained her Ghana card in 2022 with the name Al-Hassan Salama. There's a hyphen in the same name. During the Ghana card registration, she wasn't having a birth certificate nor passport, hence opted for a family member to vouch or guarantee for her. Later in 2022, she applied for a birth certificate and realized the birth certificate was issued with the name Al-Hassan Salama without a hyphen in the same name. Now Salama wants to apply for a Ghana passport and by the requirement of the Ghana passport, the two documents that the birth certificate on the Ghana card should have the same name. Salama believed that the name on her birth certificate has the correct spelling so she would like to maintain it. Since as at the time of the Ghana card application, Salama had no primary document and she actually gave the officer the name Al-Hassan Salama with a hyphen in it. She will need to provide the following document to the NIA for the correction. She will need a gazette notifying that the changes has been made and then also a birth certificate and other documents bearing the new name. For her to correct so the key takeaway from this video is that one when you realize there's a mistake on your ghana card first is to check the document you presented to confirm if the mistake on the ghana card resulted from your primary document or not if it is a mistake resulting from the primary document you presented then you need to get an affidavit and gazette it before the correction can be effected the second thing is that if it is a mistake resulting solely from the registration form meaning there's no mistake on your birth certificate you presented or the passport you presented, then you need an affidavit and gazette for the changes. It is difficult to cover all the scenarios of a mistake, so I advise you approach any of the NIA offices for special look at your issue if you find it difficult to understand the mistake. Note, the advice in this video does not substitute for a professional direct advice from the NIA officer. If you'd like to discuss your Ghana card error with us, get in touch with us through our Facebook page, Edu Media, and then send us a message. We'll look at it and advise you on how you can go about it. Thank you for staying with us. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing, share this video, like it, and we'll see you in our next video.